I'm Danielle Craig, and this is a Hip Habits episode. This is a micro podcast episode where I give you one habit you can bring into your life to add more joy into your life. As always, Hip Habits is brought to you by the Hip Habits Workbook. It is six months of weekly habits. You can find the link to get your own. You can buy the digital copy or the physical copy. Okay, today's Hip Habit is meditating. Meditating is for everyone. The first time I started meditating was 2017, that wake up year I always talk about. It was a terrible time. And I just so happened to read Kate Hudson's book. She talks us through a very simple meditation. And I remember after doing this, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is life changing. And so I ended up developing a practice and I have used really guided meditations for the last several years. Um, and I can link some of my favorites, inc including Gabrielle Bernstein. She is my favorite. Um, but I want to today talk about how to meditate for beginners. So if you've never meditated before, this one's for you, all you, and this is basically what Kate Hudson talks about in her book. These are just the basic steps to start meditating. So really what meditation does is it calms your brain down and kind of just brings you back um, to the center. I live in a brain that is constant and never stops going. And um, I remember in college, I told my sister that my brain never stops thinking. And she's like, really? I'm not thinking about anything right now. And I remember thinking, what in the world does that feel like to not be thinking about something 24 seven. So meditation is really, really great to just calm all of that, bring it all back down. All the, all the living in the future and the living in the past, it just helps you come right back to the center. So first step, just take a seat, find a space that's comfortable. I don't think you need a special woo woo meditation place. You can just go take a seat in your bed, take a seat on the couch, take a seat on the floor. I like to sit with my legs crossed and I put my um, hands on my knees, palms up, and then just set a time limit. You can set a timer in your phone or you can um, do a guided meditation. You just want to allow yourself to give control of what time is it away to that timer so that you're not thinking about, oh my goodness, what in the world? How long have I been meditating? You might think it anyway. That's okay. You'll just come back to the center. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but so set a timer and who is it? It might be Deepak Chopra who says all mind the time. So let your clock, let the guided meditation, let that mind the time. You don't need to worry about it. Um, next you close your eyes and then you can either listen to a guided meditation, which I feel is really, really helpful, especially if you're a beginner, or you can just kind of notice your body, notice your breath, breathe naturally. You don't really need to breathe in any certain way, especially when you're beginning. There are specific breathing exercises you can do, but as a beginner, why don't you just breathe how you breathe, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and then just notice it. Notice how your body feels. Notice how that breath feels coming in and coming out. You can um, do like a body scan where you start by like noticing your head and noticing your shoulders, noticing your chest, go all the way down your body and notice how everything feels. You can just notice what that breath feels like coming in and out and just clearing out your thoughts of anything other than that breath. You can do a guided meditation where you get to listen to the words that someone's speaking and just focus on those words. So then really the goal is that you're not thinking a thousand things at once. And so you'll keep coming back to whatever it is you've decided to focus on. Some people, oh, I forgot to mention this one. Some people like to light a candle and just focus on that flame. So whatever it is that you're focusing on, the flame, your breath, your body, or a guided meditation, that will be your focus. Okay. So then as you're focusing your mind, we like to call it the monkey mind in this wellness world, in the spiritual wellness world. And your mind's going to think a million things anyway. And you're going to be like, what did I, what am I going to make for dinner? And wow, I can't believe I said that thing to that kid in junior high. And oh my goodness, have I purchased groceries? Like it'll just, it'll just go, it'll just go. And then you'll be like, wow, my head itches and it'll just go and go and go be kind. That's normal. And then you're just going to come back. And, um, so you might have that thought like, oh, wow, I really said that to that person. And I feel so embarrassed. And then you'll just come back. Oh, wait, I'm focusing on my breath. That's okay. Let me go focus on my breath. And you just come back 
and you just do that with kindness, it's fine. And um, you just do that over and over and over again. A good beginning time, honestly, I think is three minutes. You can get to five minutes and then you can get longer as you go on. Um, But I think three and five minutes, especially when I was beginning to meditate, was totally sufficient in um, how long a meditation needed to be. So then you can just slowly open your eyes, kind of recalibrate, and then get on with your day. Will you try this? If you've never meditated before, try this and please message me and tell me how it goes. I had one coworker who I convinced to meditate. I sent him the guided meditation and he was going through this really um, difficult time with relationships and family and work and all the things. And he responded, he came back to work the other day, the next day after I told him this information on how to meditate. And he said, I didn't know all I had to do was stop. So please try it and then DM me. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram. And I want to thank you for being here. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye.